Over the next 30 years, the population of Japan is expected to decrease by 20 million. If Japan fails to respond to this demographic change, it will face issues such as economic contraction and difficulty in maintaining infrastructure. We believe that smart cities have the potential to help resolve these social issues, and that this situation presents an opportunity for Japan to lead the world by creating initiatives that can be deployed to other countries which are expected to face the same problems in the future. But what is a smart city? The concept of a smart city originated in the energy sector and then expanded to include other fields such as public services, healthcare, and mobility. This concept led to the use of new technologies to utilize resident data. This technology-driven approach has led to cases where the use of technology itself has become the very purpose of some smart city initiatives. Welcome back to the Apex Channel. Today we're talking about another great mega project to be implemented in Japan. It's about a whole new city. Pretty awesome, right? Well, before we continue, just subscribe to our channel and press the notification button so you don't miss the next video. That's it. Now we can start. Toyota Motor Corporation is aiming to become a world leader in smart city technology with its ambitious project to build Woven City, a fully connected, human-centered city at the base of Mount Fuji. The coronavirus pandemic has prompted a rethink of how people move and live and reinforced the need to create technology that supports happy, healthy human life, Toyota Chief Digital Officer James Kuffner said. For countries like Japan, it is an urgent task to address the challenges posed by the graying of society such as mobility and healthy living. In Woven City, autonomous buses will transport people, and smart homes with sensors will check the health of the residents. Sustainability is another key theme across the globe in the struggle for decarbonization to bring carbon dioxide emissions to net zero by 2050. Now under construction at the 175-acre site of a recently closed Toyota subsidiary plant in the central Japan prefecture of Shizuoka, Woven City will serve as a living laboratory for self-driving vehicles, delivery robots, smart homes, and artificial intelligence, according to Toyota. With its partial opening slated for as early as 2024, the city will initially have roughly 360 residents, such as seniors, families with children, and inventors, and the number is expected to increase to over 2,000, including Toyota employees. The project is open to partners, and Toyota has received over 4,700 applications from companies and individuals from areas including agriculture, healthcare, and education as of June. Toyota president Akio Toyota has personally invested in Woven Planet and stressed the importance of partnerships and collaboration to achieve mobility for all. The Smart City project is an integral part of the company's drive. Toyota, a pioneer in fuel cell vehicles, plans to have the entire ecosystem in Woven City powered by hydrogen and has agreed with Japanese energy company Enios Corporation to work towards realizing a hydrogen supply chain from production and delivery to actual use at the site. Skeptics express concerns about huge amounts of personal data that are collected via sensors and other devices and analyzed. Data security and protection of privacy are seen as hurdles to clear before establishing communities that adopt smart city technology. Kuffner said Woven City would have very well thought out architectures to ensure good privacy and security, adding that trust goes hand in hand with transparency. If you're one of the many Japanese people, you may be the first to live in a smart city. You will get to know all the benefits of that city and enjoy an easy life. If you don't live in Japan and you don't want to wait for the rest of the world to build great smart cities, then the only thing left for you to do is move to Japan. Do you like this idea? Why not? Japan is a beautiful country. Well, that's it for today. We'd like to have your comments and opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe to the new channel. If you enjoyed the video, turn on the notification to be notified when the new video is ready for watching. Have a nice day, and we'll see you again soon.